Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. On today's video, we're gonna be doing a challenge. It's actually for my husband. Um, it's the eating only Filipino food, Filipino food for the whole day. Uh, yesterday, we went to the Asian store and we bought um, quite a few items. Uh, I also made um, Filipino rolls, which is pandesal in Tagalog. I baked it um, last night. And we also have here egg. Pan, pan de sal. Pan de sal. Pan de sal. Pan. Pan. Pan de sal. De sal. Pan de sal. Yeah. Okay. And we also have here egg omelet. I only put um, onions and tomatoes in it because that's how my dad used to make it for me. Um, we also have longanisa, which is. Filipino sausage. In my country, they make different kinds of longanisa. Um, in my hometown, they make it very garlicky. Some make it very sweet and some make it very spicy. My, um, We have here the sweet um, flavored one because that's what my husband's really It's the best really one. Like. Just go get the sweet longanisa sausage. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And we also have here tocino, which is bacon in Filipino. Um, the only difference is that this is made made from pork shoulder and it's very very sweet. It's also just as sweet as the longanisa, if not a little bit more. Depending on your sweet tooth, um, you might like it more or less than the longanisa. Mm -hmm. I I really like this. Me too. And of course, I'm Asian, so this is not the meal. This is not going to be a meal without it. So I made. <laughs> fried rice, uh, garlic fried rice. So it's brown rice because it's a little bit healthier, I guess. Because it's already like not very healthy. So that's it, guys. For lunch, I'm gonna be making um, ampalaya, bitter gourd. What is it called? Ampalaya. It's pronounce it. Am. Am. Pa. Pa. La. La. Yeah. Yeah. Ampalaya. Ampa. Ampa. <laughs> Ampa Laya Ampa Laya Ampa Laya Ampa Laya Ampa Laya Okay, Ampa Ampa Laya Ampa Laya Bitter gourd in English So yes what guys, bitter gourd or bitter melon Bitter melon And I'll be making um, shrimp, buttered shrimp, Filipino version of butter shrimp so yes guys, let's eat! Let's eat. Did we move? Yeah, sure. Alright, go get your coffee because I'm going to teach you how to eat the pandesal All the right. right way. So this is how you eat, eat um, pandesal the right way. Like so. And then dunk it in your coffee. Alright, I'm going to dunk buttered bread in my coffee guys. <laughs> That's right. it. Right. There you go. How is it? Um. It's just what we do. I like to eat it without dunking it in the coffee. Maybe coffee. Eat a piece and then drink the coffee. Mm. The sausage over here is the longanisa, and this is the tocino. Bacon. Bacon. Traditional Filipinos eat with forks and spoons, where we eat with knife and fork. So if you mm -hmm. ever go over to the Philippines and see people eating without a knife, or you go to a restaurant, uh, you might have to ask for a knife because they don't generally use them. Mm -hmm. it's the if you guys ever get the chance to eat uh, longanisa, the sweet version, and uh, tocino, I'm going to tell you guys, uh, go ahead and jump on the opportunity. It's fantastic. You can find them at the Asian store and the Oriental. If you're in the Tampa Bay area. Um, 
If not, I'm sure there'll be an Asian store near you that, that will have them in the uh, grocery department. Mm -hmm. Next time you should show people how to cook them so they know exactly how to do it. You guys can just boil it until there's nothing left but um, oil. No, so if there's only oil in the pan, then that's when you know that it's already cooked. Take a frying pan and add about a quarter inch of, to a, about a half inch of water mm -hmm. and kind of cook it in the water, roll it around until all the water evaporates. After the water evaporates, you'll see like a it's going to produce oil. It's going to produce like a syrupy oil. And uh, once that occurs, how much longer do you think? Like two more minutes. Two to three more minutes. Yeah, two to three more minutes on what but temperature? Until it's like, until it's like reddish brown. Then that's when you know it's cooked. Like medium. Medium. Medium heat. Also for dinner, I'll be making, I'm still thinking whether to make um, sinigang or just make um, just make um, pork binangko. What's, what's sinigang? You know the like the sour soup? What, what's in it? Uh, what's in it? Pork. Pork and that spinach, what is spinach? Which I don't, which I don't have. Like a Oh, huh? remember when we went to Ate Genelis house for for the oh yeah, 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 yeah that but I don't have um spinach with I don't we don't have spinach in the house right now so I'm thinking I'm just gonna make chicken and pork adobo and adobo and um pork binagongan pork what binagongan pork with the shrimp paste you like that pork with shrimp paste yeah it's pretty good yeah so it's exciting. We'll see if he he'll eat some more later. I'll eat everything. Yeah, he likes everything. He's not really <laughs> picky. Not picky. All right. He also eat um, pusit. Yeah. Grilled uh, squid. Hey everybody, we're back for lunch, and Hello. I just um, finished cooking. Um, I made buttered shrimp. So I just put. Of course, um, garlic and butter, salt, pepper, and chili powder. So it's and a little bit of sugar. So it's kind of like sweet, salty, and spicy. And um, this is the bitter melon. This is uh, one of my favorite favorite Filipino dish. Um, I sauteed it with um, onions, and I put a little. I put two. Um, Eggs. eggs in it and pork yeah. just so it's not it's not too plain but yeah this is it I soaked it in water and salt just to take uh, the bitterness out of it a little bit so so how long did you soak it for 30 minutes okay 30 minutes to 45 minutes depends did you, did you do anything when you when you salted it or soaked it excuse me yeah I just put um, do you, do you squeeze them at all I did squeeze them after 30 minutes to get the, the real bitterness out of them. Yeah. So yeah, let's dig in. Kain, kain. So how how are you liking it so far? Like so eating, far is great. Eating Filipino food. It's awesome. I think it, I think um. It's really cool because not very many people like before I met you. I've never had bitter melon, so. Mm -hmm. You know, it's always cool to try really neat things and, you know, and instead of, of course, just eating like fried chicken every night or, or eating, you know, mm -hmm. and of what course have you. rice. It's not forget the rice. You know, it's all those. So how about I cook Filipino food every day? That's fine. <laughs> Let's do it. 
Where's the... No, I want this. It's kind of bitter, babe. I don't, I don't think I did a good job squeezing, squeezing. it. But it's not that bitter. bitter. Ah, maybe one, mm -hmm. time, one time you should eat it like rock, like bitter, you know? Oh. Mm. Not, not soak it. I don't know about that. Because the bitter melon, you guys, is like really, really, really um, bitter. Very bitter. Very bitter. If you don't squeeze them out really good mm -hmm. in the water, like, like you're trying to squeeze out a sponge in the water, uh, it's going to be pretty bitter. Mm. Another thing that Filipino likes doing is eating eating um without without silver silvers so they use their hands to eat like when you do budo fight you'll see one of our videos it'll say budo fight where you'll see people actually traditionally eating with their hands I think it was your first first vlog right mm -hmm. yeah our first vlog is you'll see the budo fight they lay down um, Banana leaves. Banana leaves and then just put different things on top of it and then everybody gathers around and eats with their hands. Mm -hmm. Make sure you wash your hands first because that will upset the rest <laughs> of the people at the table. <laughs> hey guys, so I finished cooking dinner and this is the finished product. Um, I put um, chili peppers. Is that chili pepper? Chili pepper. Yeah. I put chili peppers in it and sugar so it's kind of like sweet and spicy pork with um, shrimp paste. And this is what I used. This is the shrimp paste that I used. I have the sweet one and I have the spicy one. So I mix them together so I can get that sweet and spicy taste. And um... We have leftover bitter gourd from lunch, so we're just gonna eat that. And yeah, let's eat dinner. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I also, pala guys, nagluto ako na. I'm gonna show them this anchovy. <laughs> I cooked um, um, sweet and spicy anchovy. Anchovies? Anchovies, yeah. <laughs> Sweet and sweet. Ito din pala yung rice na naluto ko kanina umaga, guys. Naluto ako ng... I cooked four cups of brown rice. And this is all we have. Lamp. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Ah, you have to be careful not to eat the chili peppers. They're like... Yeah. No, it's alright. Uh, even if I do. It's fine. You're, they're gonna burn your mouth. This is our first time like eating Filipino food for the whole day because I usually just cook um, either lunch or dinner, right? Mm. Which I haven't seen you eat um, the dried fish lately. When is the last time I ate it? No, just recently I ate it. Dried salted fish. Mm. I don't remember yet. Yeah, I ate it for dinner one time, not right. so long ago. Yeah. So, let's talk about your experience. So, how was it? Overall, was no. It? How was it eating breakfast? Filipino food the whole day. It was different i don't eat normally rice very much and to have it for three separate meals is a lot you know it's a lot of rice to eat but mm -hmm. it was good overall it was great i really liked it yeah because usually i cook um filipino food maybe like for lunch or dinner or even breakfast or breakfast but not like the whole day mm. so this is actually the first time we're eating um, Filipino food the whole day, so it's kind of like a new experience yeah, for you to do it all day and traditional stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. So, 
Out of all the food that I cooked today, which one is your favorite? Oh, my favorite, babe. No, like juice one. I, 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 you know, I'm a big fan of Longanisa and Ticino. Oh yeah, he's a soccer guy. So I love He's a soccer for Longanisa. Like, he can eat six pieces. Six pieces I, I, of Longanisa. I love Longanisa and... Uh, one thing that we didn't have here, but we have a tree drawing outside, is the uh, calamansia juice. The, like the the Filipinos have a drink called calamansia juice, and it's it looks a, like lime. It's like lime, like instead of lemonade, it would be like a limeade, mm -hmm. but it's a little bit less. Um, how do you call that? Like citrusy, citrusy. yeah. Than a lime. So it's a hairless citrusy, and then they add sugar and mix it, you know, mix it like or you would. Or you can just drink it like... Yeah, but most of the time when you go to a restaurant there, they, they have it with sugar, sugar yeah. yeah. So it's like a lemonade, except, or actually like a limeade, except it's like less citrusy tasting. It's really good, and I'm a real sucker for that as well. Every time I go to the Philippines, I get that as well. Oh, there was one time you were coming to see me. Mm. Like the second time you were coming to see me, I brought you like a whole. Like yeah, she drink, she right? she made a whole jug of it like mm. this. It's awesome. Yeah, he drank he drank it all. He didn't even let me drink like <laughs> one sip. But well, you said um, it was all for me. Too. Yeah, it was all for you. Um, if you were going to choose between my hometown longanisa or the sweet longanisa, which one you would choose? I, I like I like the sweet longanisa. Yep. Sweet longanisa. I've had the garlic one and I've had the hot one, and I'm I just have a sweet tooth. It's a preferential thing. I, I just I like a sweet tasting, you know, like pancakes, cocoa with syrup, you know. Longanisa is sweet, you know. I just I just like a sweeter longanisa. Mm -hmm. So all in all, you liked it. Everything was great. I loved everything. Is it something that you would want to do again, except without? Too much rice or I like the rice too I no seriously because you know you don't you're not used to eating that much rice when you're an American I guess depending on what type of family you come from but um, you know when you eat like plain rice and then you learn to mix like the the food into the rice and incorporate the taste throughout the rice in in, in each bite of food it makes it taste like you're eating, instead of eating just a little bit of meat, it tastes like you're eating your whole meal is like meat, mm -hmm. which is awesome when the meat is fantastic like, like this pork is. So. Mm. so you liked it? Everything's great. Yes guys, success soon challenge! Yay! Mm. Also, um, if you like this type of uh, video, um, comment, like below and, comment below yeah. and, and let us know and if, yeah. you, if you find anything that that maybe we could, you could, you would want to see more of when we do another one of these videos. Please leave it as well in the comments so we know which mm -hmm. direction to go. We would really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or, yeah, or suggest what type of challenge or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And if you enjoyed this video, please uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And we'll see you guys on our next one. See you guys. Take care. Bye. Bye. Did they say her? Mm.